Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about tire performance relating to the difference in diameter as well as the width of the tire when you place these tires either on the front end of your radio control car or the rear end of the car. We're going to be looking at advantages, disadvantages, and ultimately why would you want to do this on your particular model car. So let's get into it and talk about the difference in diameter. I have a few tires here on the table that you can take a look at and right off the bat you can see that there are differences in diameter and there are differences in even width of these tires as well. So the first thing to pay attention to is that the off-road tire here is the largest in diameter. Now generally speaking when you're working with a radio control car that is meant for the road you want that tire to be almost as small as possible and the reason the big reason for us is that a lighter tire and a tire that has less rotational inertia is going to be better off for us on a whole. The only thing that we're really concerned about when it comes to our tire is making certain that we have enough traction and where we need that traction. So those are the parameters that we're going to be following throughout this. When we're talking about utilizing different diameter tires, there can be a significant advantage here if you're using it for the right application. You don't typically want to utilize different diameter tires if you are sending power to all four wheels. When it comes to using two different diameter tires on the front end of the car versus the rear end of the car, the big major point here to make is that the small diameter tire is going to rotate more times than the larger diameter tire. If you have a solid differential no or no differential in the center of your radio control vehicle, this is not going to work at all and those tires are going to fight and battle each other out. However, if you do have a center differential, this is potentially possible to work. However, placing any sort of diff fluid in the center differential on that vehicle is going to want to resist motion there, and that's going to rob you of power. So this is why, generally speaking, it's not a good idea to have two different size tires placed on the front versus rear when you're trying to send power to all four wheels. So then when would you want to have different tires in your radio control model. The obvious answer here is for those of you that are looking to drag race a two-wheel drive vehicle. On the front end, you're really not concerned about traction. You don't need to worry about going around corners or anything of that nature. So what you can do is you can place the standard or typical tire that gives you the traction that you're looking at for the rear side or rear end of the vehicle. But then for the front end of the vehicle, in order to reduce the weight, in order to reduce the inertia, you can get that tire diameter down. This is ultimately going to lead down the path of faster accelerations, making it easier for you to achieve a higher top speed quicker. That's the big bonus that you get from that. There are some other areas where you'd want to use different size diameter tires, but for the most part, that is one of the big players in our scene. Now let's talk about differences in tire width as it relates to the front versus the rear end of the vehicle. So here you can see I have a couple tires in front of me, specifically this one here and this one here. Both of these have different widths and this allows for an advantage where you have the larger width as well as an advantage for where you have the smaller width. So let's talk about what you get from having wider tires. Well, the obvious answer here is a wider tire is going to give you more traction. So you want to place that tire that is wider in the area where you need the most amount of traction. And then the advantage of having a smaller width tire on the opposite end of the vehicle here, on the front end, is because we don't need as much traction and we can get away with that and give us the advantage of having lesser weight as well as lesser inertia within that tire. So those are the advantages and disadvantages of having different widths. Now let's take a look at how I'm able to take that concept and apply it right in the direct application for this buggy. In this buggy, I have the rear tire being used here a wider width than the tire that is used on the front end. And I'm able to gain the advantage there in terms of traction on the rear end. Why? Because I'm interested in the acceleration of the vehicle and I'm 
I'm not as much interested in the cornering ability of the front end grip. So I do a lot more acceleration or speed runs and that's where I'm getting the big advantage there with those wider tires. Now that's not to say that the car performs poorly when going around corners. This car performs very well and I looked for the best combination of tires that would suit my direct application. So what this really meant is in order to arrive at this combination, I've tested a bunch of different combinations and you wanna look at all the parameters that allow you to make the best decision for applying the correct tires in your application. When it comes to on-road applications on the track, you're gonna see two common types of setups. When you wanna go fast around corners, you could either see larger width tires being used in the rear to gain that traction coming out of a corner and to gain that traction in the straights. Or you may see the setup where all four tires are identical because this is the setup that keeps your car very well balanced and gives you the advantage of having equal amount of traction potential on all four corners. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide what is best for your vehicle so that it suits your driving style and what you're trying to do with that car. Hope you find this video informative. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.